This is your time. This is your season. And this is your moment. I definitely want to recommend you be able to touch people, be able to sympathize and empathize with people. I want you to know you are destined for greatness. It's such an honor and a privilege to be here to speak at T-Mobile today. I'm excited. I am humbled and honored. You know, this is a wonderful opportunity, and uh, I'm excited uh, that I am now corporate now. And I want to thank Darren and all of you as a staff for having me here to pour into your lives. And today I'm going to, going to be talking about today is you are a winner. You are a winner. And what I want you to do, I want you to realize, get it in your heart and get it in your mind and know that you are a winner. No matter what you're facing, no matter what you're going through, you are a winner. So today I'm going to be talking about and teaching you to let you know that you are a winner. So focus on being productive and not just being busy. I'm going to say that again. Focus on being productive and not just being busy. Why? Because you are a winner and you are here at T-Mobile at this amazing corporation to take this corporation to another level. And I want you to know no matter what, you are a winner. And let's talk about productive. I want to take this moment, I want to teach for a second, because I'm not just here to motivate, I'm here to motivate you, I'm here to inspire you, I'm here to encourage you, and I'm also here to empower you. So today, productive, it means achieving or producing a significant amount or result. I'm going to say that again. Productive means achieving or producing a significant amount or result. So what do you mean by that? So you are here to take this corporation, T-Mobile, to a greater level. And let me share my story. I'm not supposed to be here. I can't believe it. I, I never thought I would be in this position. My story is I flunked the first grade. I flunked the first grade. I was bullied in school. When I got it, when I was bullied in school, you know, I, I, I had a reading and comprehension problem. I was I was labeled as retarded. Nobody believed in me. My whole life, people tried to put limitations on me. Have you ever been in a place in your life where people did not believe in you? Have you ever been in a place in your life where people tried to put limitations on you? Have you ever been in a place in your life where you was at the lowest point of your life, where you faced depression, where you faced different obstacles in your life? But th this is what I want to tell you. I, I kept telling myself, even when I was, even when I taught in the first grade, I never forget. I remember the teacher's name. Her name was Mrs. Sessoms. I remember all the students were lining up getting ready to go to the second grade. And I got up and she came to me. She pulled me to a side. She called me Julie. She said, Julia, I just want to sit you down for a second. She was like, I just want to tell you, I'm sorry, but you did not pass the first grade. But even at that point in my life, I felt like a failure. Have you ever been in a place in your life where you have failed? But just because you failed, it doesn't mean you are a failure. Listen to me very closely. I got in high school. I was a troubled student in high school. My high school teacher, she told everybody else how great they were going to be. She told everybody else how successful they were going to be. But when she got to me, she said, Tommy, you're not smart enough to go to college. She said, Tommy, you're not going to graduate high school. She said, you might as well you might as well just go to the military or just go work in a factory or flip burgers. Well, guess what? I tried to go into the military, but guess what? When I was taking that military test, I was not focused at all. I kept hearing in my mind was Tommy, you know, you know you're not going to graduate high school. You know you're not going to graduate from college. You know you're not smart enough to go to college. Have you ever been in a place where you hear those negative voices in your mind telling you what you can't do, telling you what you can't be, telling what you what you can't become? And I'm here to tell you, I am a motivational speaker. I want to tell you all, I love you. I care about you. I believe in you. I want to see you go to the next level. I want to see you successful. I want to see you accomplish your dreams. And then right after that, I took the military test and I flunked the military test. So then I said, okay, 
she told me she, she tried to put limitations on me. So I said, I went and took the SAT and I got in college. But my story gets worse, so it seems. So then I got in college and I got sick and I started struggling with depression and I had a nervous breakdown and I was hospitalized for a whole year and I flunked out of college. But guess what? I kept telling myself while I was in that hospital, I am a winner. And then after that, I was shot multiple times. I was shot three times. I was shot in the back of my head. I was shot in my stomach. I was shot in my groin area. But when I got to the hospital, I was pronounced dead. Then in 2009, I became homeless. I was living on the streets, begging for food. But I kept telling myself, I am a winner. And now I am a nominee for the Nobel Peace Prize Award, a motivational speaker changing people's lives. And I'm here to tell you, you are a winner. You are here to achieve nothing but greatness and success at T-Mobile Corporation. Bill Gates said, your most unhappy customers, let me get in the message, your most unhappy customers are your greatest source of learning. I think I need to say that again. Your most unhappy customers are your greatest source of learning. Even when I fell, I kept telling myself, I'm a winner. When I was homeless, I said, I'm a winner. When I was shot multiple times and pronounced it, I bled out. When I got to the hospital, they said, man, I hate to tell you, but he's gone, he's gone. But look at me, somehow I'm here. And I was in a coma. The doctor said, we don't know, Mr. Campbell, how in the world you made it. We've never seen anybody survive such an injury as this. So when you have customers, listen to me very closely. When you have customers that are rude and unhappy, then that is your, watch this, that is your greatest source of learning. Because this is how you make T-Mobile Corporation even greater. This is the secret. Listen to me very closely. Do the very, do the very common, uncommonly great. Do the, do the uncommonly great. And this corporation and you as an employee will go to another level. To continue, the, to continue to keep this corporate company great. Number one, I'm teaching. I'm, I'm excited so I got to calm down. Number one, stay focused while at work. Stay focused while you are at work. When you are at work, stay locked in and have the mindset that while I am here, I'm going to make T-Mobile Corporation the greatest and give your all as an employee. Number two, stay positive. Keep this working environment with positive energy and positive environment because work hard and grind while you are here because your job Listen to me very closely. Your job is to make as many sales as possible to take this corporation to the next level. All you have to do while you are here is make it happen. Why? Because you are a winner. Next, tell yourself every day that you are going to exceed the amount of phones the company wants you to sell. I'm going to say that again. Tell yourself every day that you're going to exceed the amount of phones the company wants you to sell. You're going to do everything in your power as an employee to work in excellence and take this corporation, this amazing corporation, to the next level. This is America's largest 5G network, T-Mobile. When you make a mistake, don't feel bad about it. Learn from your mistakes, even in life. When you make mistakes in life, learn from your mistakes and just try harder. Because watch this, what do you mean? What do you mean, Tommy? In your mistakes, it leads you to try something new. It leads you to the solution. I'm feeling this thing, y'all. This is how you take this corporation to the next level. Oprah Winfrey said, and I'm closing. Oprah Winfrey said, let excellence be your brand. Let excellence be your brand. Because when you are excellent, you become unforgettable. If you do your job in excellence, then this corporation will win greatly and you will win as an employee. I'm closing. Remember, you are a winner. Work as a team. 
You are all on the same team. You are all winners. You are all great. You are amazing. You will take this corporation to another level. T-Mobile Corporation will win because of you all. When you are here, stay focused. Work hard. Believe you can help this corporation. Lastly, believe in yourself. Listen, I went from flunking the first grade to being labeled as retarded, having a reading and comprehension problem, having a learning disability, barely graduated high school, got in college, flunked out of college, was shot multiple times, was homeless, and now I'm a motivational speaker changing the world. And everyone else, they know me. They know me from on YouTube. I have over 300 videos on YouTube where I get in front of the world every day and do motivational videos every day for the whole world. And my show is, this is your time. This is your season. And this is your moment. And I want to tell you here at T-Mobile, I want to tell all of you in life, no matter what you do, no matter what your dreams are, no matter what you want to do for the long term, I'm here to tell you that no matter what you are facing, no matter what you are going through, no matter what life throws at you, no matter what you went through in your childhood, no matter what you're facing right now, this is your time. This is your season, and this is your moment. You are greatness, you are beautiful, you are special, you are smart, you are intelligent, you matter, and you are amazing. And I want to tell you that I love you with all of my heart. And if no one has ever told you this, I want to be the first to tell you, or the second, or, or whatever. I am extremely proud of you all. I love you all. I believe in you all. If I didn't believe in this corporation, if I didn't believe in you all, I wouldn't be here today. I'm here because I believe in you. I see something in you. I can look at you right now and tell, tell you all, you all, you have so much purpose. You have so much greatness in your life. The sky is the limit for you. You can do anything you want to do. You can be, you can do, you can be, you can accomplish anything you want to accomplish. What are your dreams? What are your goals? What do you want to do? What do you want to be? But while you're here, work hard. I want you to grind. Beast mode, lion mode, blood, sweat, tears. Grind 120%. Give it your all while you're here. Give it your all. And I want to tell you that in other areas of your life, in all the other areas of your life, give it your all. Put it 120%. Beast mode, lion mode, blood, sweat, tears. I can't. I will. I must. I want you to say this. I want you to repeat this. I want you to say this for me. And I'm closing. I want you to, you don't got to say it loud, but I want you to say it. Say, I can. I can. I will. I will. I must. Come on, I say must. it again. Say, I can. I can. I will. I will. I must. I must. Say it one more time. I can. I can. I will. I will. I must. I must. Say, say, I can do anything. I can do anything. I can be anything. I can be anything. I can do it. I can do it. I can be it. I can be it. And I can accomplish it. And I can accomplish it. Thank you. That is my time. <laughs>